let us see another problem on composite transformation uh, which is on scaling uh, the question is a square with vertices 0 0 2 0 2 2 and 0 2 is scaled 2 units in x as well as y direction about the fixed point which is center of the square that is 1 comma 1 find the coordinates of vertices of the new square so they have given the vertices four vertices of a square and they have also given sx two units and sy two units and also they have given the fixed point of the square that is one comma one so let us put these points on the graph first point is zero zero okay second is two zero third is two two and fourth is zero two and the fixed point is 1 comma 1 so this 1 comma 1 is nothing but sf comma uh, xf comma yf so if you all are scaling this object okay see that this point remains intact that means if you all are increasing the size of the object or decreasing the size of the object this point should remain the center of the fixed point okay so as we know we have to get this point to the origin that means this much amount of y and this much amount of x you all have to travel to the origin then you all have to perform scaling and again you all have to travel so much amount of y and so much amount of x to return back to the point xf comma yf okay so first thing you'll have to do is translation uh, and the parameter is xf yf xf yf is nothing but one comma one and second thing you'll have to, after coming to the origin you'll have to perform scaling and xx y s they have given is two two units for both and the second thing you'll have to perform is inverse translation inverse translation that is minus x xf and minus uh, sorry this is minus yf okay so after uh, all the three equations you all will be performing nothing but uh, scaling so this is the general matrices for all of them the first one is translation where tx and ty is xf and yf second uh, matrix is for scaling where you have the scaling factors sx and xy and the third translation is minus xf and minus yf where you have to perform the inverse translation okay so let us put those values so here xf yf is nothing but 1 comma 1 so i have put here 1 and 1 okay and uh, sx ys uh, sy is nothing but 2 and 2 okay and minus xf minus yf is nothing but minus 1 minus 1 okay so i have told you all when given three matrices first you perform the multiplication of these two matrix this will be the resultant matrix okay after you have performed the multiplication of this two the resultant matrix you perform with the third matrix that means perform the multiplication of this two after you have multiplied this two you all will get this resultant matrix this resultant matrix is nothing but the multiplication of all these three okay this resultant matrix you have to multiply with the object matrix that means this objects matrix you all have to put that means these coordinates 1 2 3 4 these coordinates you have to convert them into three dimensional so how to convert them into three dimensional is first you put the vertices of the first one 0 0 second one 2 0 third one 2 2 and the fourth one is 0 2 and the last one you all put it as ones okay so after you perform the multiplication of this two you all will get the final matrix and consider only first two points of the final matrix this is nothing but the homogeneous coordinates which are all one so the old coordinates were 0 0 2 0 2 2 0 2 okay and the new coordinates are minus 1 minus 1 okay my uh, 3 minus 1 3 3 and minus 1 3 so let plot this new coordinates onto the graph okay so after plotting they look like this okay so the, what was the first point minus 1 minus 1 okay minus 1 minus 1 second is 3 minus 1 third is 3 2 and the fourth one is minus 1 3 okay so you all can see that the previous object was like this okay and now the new object is like this that means it has increased in size okay and when you see this object you can see that this one 
one which is there it is exactly in the center of this object that means in spite of increasing the size of an object the fixed point has remained intact that is one comma one is at the center only okay so you all have to put the resultant graph after performing this problem